Welcome back. No more bloodbath. Well, no more than what is usual for crisis. Just for completion's sake, I'll keep an eye on the body count. Time for some serious sniping. A word of warning. You are not the only one with a sniper scope. There are a few snipers near the submarine, so try to take them out from here. This guy is number 69. Not the 69 position he was hoping for, I'm sure. This might mess up our body count's accuracy. We don't know how many soldiers we may have killed, thanks to the smoke. Let's assume none. This guy must be wearing a lucky charm. I not only miss him here, but also when he runs past me, in just a moment. Lucky SOB. Not so lucky now. What's this guy shouting about? Shut it, you muppet. At the end of this clip, there's a really cool movie, where Psycho explains what a muppet is. Make sure to check it out. I seem to have lost my mojo. Finally. I believe that was the last one. Let's just do a quick sweep of the area to make sure. So, the final body count was, 74. 12 of them killed in this video. That means, 60 guarding the base, and 14 guarding the submarine. It really was a bloodbath, wasn't it? To quote a line from one of my favorite films. You're a goddamn one-man slaughterhouse. Who can guess where that's from? I said I would only do the first two levels of this game. And guess what? This is the end of the second level. I might do a couple more videos, maybe. But it's goodbye for now.
Yankee Sekida. A British Muppet. Muppet? Idiot. When we calibrate the suit, it can get a bit tight. Like Crump, only worse. Until the suit compensates, the pain is unbearable. Then there's a gap between skin and suit. Too close, and it can irritate the skin. Too far, and it starts to tear the skin from your flesh. I'm a P.O.W., you bastard! We respect the Geneva Convention. But the nano suit is not a recognized uniform. It invalidates your rights. Was my last chance. Okay. 